Hey everybody, so here we are now in part two of our Final Cut 10 Essential series. And what we're gonna do here in part two is we're gonna learn the building blocks of editing your first project within Final Cut 10. We're gonna learn all about setting our in, our out points, dragging our footage into a project, and then making a cohesive project with multiple clips edited together. Let's dive in. So here we are back inside of Final Cut 10 and we're going to learn how to edit some footage today of this drone footage that we imported and organized earlier and set up our sequences or our project within Final Cut 10. All right, so what we have here is we have the three clips that we're going to use within our edit today. And so we have these all minimized down to where we just see the clip itself and we're able to skim through it here. Now, if we wanted to see more of the clips, we could come over here to our film strip icon, and then we have this little timing feature here. I have it all the way down now, so I just see each clip individually, or what we can do is we can see every 10 seconds, 30 seconds of the clip, you know, 10 seconds of the clip, all the way to every two seconds of the clip. Just if you need a more detailed look at each clip, if they're a little bit more dynamic than these, that's a great feature to have. But for today, just to keep everything clean and organized, we're just gonna show the clip as a whole. So the skimming feature is something that's really cool and unique within Final Cut 10, is that you're able to just come through here and just glide through the footage and see everything that's being offered. So when you're needing to make a quick edit, this is great. So right here, we can just come in find where we want to make our first edit point. To do that, we just hit I for N. And now we're able to press our space bar, let it play, and we'll find our nice little end point here. And for to set our end point, we're going to hit O. Now you can see in this little yellow range selection here, this is the piece of footage that we're now going to be able to drag onto our project. Awesome. So here we go, we have our little clip here. And one thing to note is all of this drone footage was filmed in 60 frames per second with the anticipation to slow it down to 24. Now a quick and easy way to do that is to come here to your retiming tool within Final Cut 10 and hit automatic speed. And that goes ahead and slows it down to the 40% that we need. But the problem that we have now is the shorter clip is now insanely long. So now that we have our first clip dragged into our project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our first effect and we're gonna do a speed ramp. Let's check it out. Now to do a speed ramp, what we'll wanna do is make three cuts in the speed section of our, of our clip. So, with our marker here, I'm gonna set it into about two minutes or two seconds and 12 frames. And what I'm gonna do is hit Shift B. It's gonna make a cut right there. Then it seems the clip's about 15 seconds, so maybe we'll come in about 12 and a half ish right here. And we're gonna hit Shift B again to make our cut. All right. So then what we do is to do our speed ramp. We're gonna come down here to our middle clip, our longest one, hit the little down arrow here, come over here to fast, and we'll go eight times. Awesome. So what that does is that speeds up the middle clip eight times, leads everything else the same. And you'll see here between the clips, there's these translucent bars. And what, the, and what those are doing is they're basically a transition, a smoothing transition between the different speeds of the clip to smooth it out a little bit. And if we want to, we can even expand those out and smooth it however we, we would like. So we can bring that in, bring this one out, play it back. Awesome. Oh, it's looking great. Okay, so there we go. There we have our first clip edited together. 
All right, so now that we have our speed ramp done and we have our second clip dropped into our project, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a strobe effect between those two clips to have a nice, smooth, and cinematic transition. Now for a second clip here, what we're gonna do is a kind of establishing shot of this old abandoned school here in the city of Atlanta. So using our skimming feature, we can kind of find out exactly where we wanna start the clip at. And I'm thinking right there looks good. So I did that, then I'm gonna hit Command I, or not Command I, just, just I to set our endpoint. Gonna go ahead and play that back. And right about there, I think's good. And I hit the space bar to pause it and I'm hitting O for our out point. Okay, and I'm expanding out my timeline with my touch bar, but you can do it with Command Plus on your computer. Okay, I'm dragging this clip down here. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and expand out. Looking good there. All right, I think that's a little long. So what we're gonna do with our A, we're gonna select A for our arrow tool. And we're gonna come over here to the end of the clip and just drag it in. And like this, this was also filmed at 60 frames a second. So we're gonna go ahead and select that, come to our retiming automatic speed. Now we're gonna go ahead and give that a look now that we've slowed it down. Perfect. All right, I think we cut this a little too late, but I like the length of the clip in general. So what we could do is cut this down then expand this out over here, or we can hit T for our trim tool and simply just slide the footage over. And you'll see these little numbers here popping up. That just means how many frames are being added on the front end of the clip. So we'll add about a second here. And we'll go ahead and play that back. Perfect, okay. Now right now we have a pretty just hard cut transition between the two of these. But I think there's something we can do to make this a little bit cooler. And so what I'm thinking right now is just a classic strobe effect. So what we're gonna do is we're going to zoom into our timeline here. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in here and then we're gonna select B on our keyboard to bring up our blade tool. What we're gonna do is about every frame we're gonna make a little cut with our blade tool here. Okay, we'll do this about six, seven times. Awesome, looking great. Make sure we grab that every frame. Okay, then we'll go back and we'll select A on our keyboard and we'll select our first frame here and we'll hit V to disable the clip. We'll skip one, click V again, do the same do the same and then we'll also make a little cut here on our other clip and we'll select that one and click V and we'll go ahead and play it back awesome and there we have like a little strobe transition to make it a little bit more entertaining than it was before all right so now for our third and final transition we're just going to add a simple cross dissolve which can be done with a couple hotkeys it's really easy to do it's a classic effect let's learn how to do it we're going to bring in our last clip so what we're going to do we're going to do the same thing of just skimming through here kind of find the best portion for it which i think is going to be right about there and that'll give us a good little rough spot to start out with There we go. Okay, then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna drag this back over to our timeline here. And just like all of our other clips, we're gonna wanna slow this one down to our automatic speed. And we'll give ourselves a little playback here to see what we're working with. Awesome, that's looking great. And sometimes what's nice to do too, if you know you bring in a clip and you realize like, okay, it's a little long right here because the speed of the drone doesn't stay the same. What we can do is use our arrow bar just to go back frame by frame. Find that exact spot that we want to make the cut at and we just hit B for our blade tool again. Cut it, make the cut, hit A for our arrow tool, 
Just drag it, select it, and delete it. And there we go. You can see your cut there. Awesome. It's looking good. And you know, sometimes if you want to make a quick transition, you don't want to use just like a hard cut. You can just select the little transition area here, the cut, then hit Command T, and that'll bring up just a classic cross dissolve effect where you go from one clip to the next. And in this instance, this is what we did here is add that little cross dissolve in between the two clips. So there we go. There we have our edit that we just made inside of Final Cut 10 using the native tools. And that concludes part two of our Final Cut 10 Essential series. So for part three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in some music tracks. We're gonna learn how to color correct our footage and prepare it for a high quality export. See you guys then.